Hey everybody and welcome. In this video we're going to go through how to create a 3D sectional wall diagram in Revit showing all the parts and layers of that wall. Before we start feel free to subscribe to see more videos like this, of course like and share and any comments or questions feel free to leave those below. So we're going to be working mostly in the 3D view as well as a little bit in the elevation but the first thing we want to do is create a wall. So we can come to the architecture, wall, and we're going to use this exterior block on timber start wall as an example. I'm going to hit edit type and edit structure just to have a quick look at the makeup of that wall. So from the exterior side to the interior side we've got 100mm concrete masonry, then a 40mm cavity fill, 19mm plywood, then 152mm softwood or timber, then a 1mm vapor retarder like basically your builders paper and a 13mm gypsum wall board which is basically your plasterboard or drywall. So we're going to hit OK on that. I'm not going to make any changes there and OK again. And I'm going to draw a 3 meter wall. So our height is currently set to 3 meters. But I'm just going to click in here and draw a 3 meter wall. And we'll just double click the mouse wheel to zoom extents and hit escape. And we can see that our wall is currently facing the wrong way so I'm just going to select it and hit space to flip it. And the next thing we want to do is split it into its parts. So if we select the wall, we can come up to the Modify tab and click Create Parts. And just click out here just to have a look at that. And if we zoom in, we can see each of those layers have been uh, created. So double click the mouse wheel to zoom extents again. And all we're going to do now is basically create a profile or edit the profile for each of these layers, starting from the exterior and working inwards. So we're going to start with this blockwork wall. So we'll select it and we'll click divide parts and we'll click edit sketch and then set a work plane pick a plane okay and then just hover over and click the face of that wall like so and now we can start sketching on here um, if I just orbit around you can see that there's this dashed line around the outside of our wall or our part in this case um, and we can use the our our draw tools or our sketch tools that we're familiar with to create a profile or edit that profile. But what I like to do is go to an elevation like our south elevation in this case and zoom in here. So we're going to start by clicking the line tool and then zooming in to our wall and just drawing along the joins of the block work. So I'm just going to start there and come across to there and up. And we just want to make sure we're crossing that dashed line there. And same down here. And it looks like I've missed the line in there, so I'll just click the line tool and fill that in, like so. You can also, also adjust this. So if I want to select those and move them, for example, to there, you can also do that. I'll select this one, move it to that course, make it look a little bit more organic. Um, once we're happy with that, we can hit the green tick to finish that, then go back to our 3D view and finish that there and now we can select this section of the wall if I just hit escape you can see all it's done is split that wall so we can select that part of the wall there and exclude parts note the alignment of this wall is slightly off so what we want to do here is use our align tool so modify align and align this wall like that and that will just give us a full block in each of these sections so we're not cutting blocks in the middle. That's looking good. We can go now to our next layer. So tab in here, select and divide parts, edit sketch and same thing again we'll go to our south elevation and for this one we might just do using some arcs create a bit of a smoother profile there. Finish that Go to our 3D view, finish that again, and then we can tab to select and exclude parts. Note that when you've excluded parts, you can still actually select that part there. So what I like to do just to get it out of the way is to actually right click, hide in view elements. And same with this one here. So you can see it's still selectable. So right click, hide in view elements. Now it's actually hidden in the view. We can of course bring it back by clicking reveal hidden elements and selecting it there. 
but we don't need to do that. Next we'll do the same with the plywood layer, so divide parts, edit sketch, and go to the south elevation, and we'll draw another arc type profile there. Like that, finish that, finish that again. Let's go to the 3D view and we can select this part and we can just hide it in the view. Right click, hide in view elements. Next, we have our stud layer. So we're going to do the same thing divide parts, edit sketch, go to the south elevation. But this one here, we're going to create a bit of a stud pattern. So I'm going to start with a rectangle, just something like that there, to about the middle of the wall. And we're going to select all of this and then copy and copy it across 450. Then select this and I'm going to copy it 45 mil across and then escape and just trim this up like that. And we're going to tab to select all four of these and then copy and I'm just going to use these endpoints to copy this 450 mil across over and over that's probably more than enough and we can also we want to also mirror this down here so if I just draw a line from here 45 mil down like that and then select all of these copy from here down to there Next thing we want to do is just delete any lines that are not actually intersecting that dashed line or aren't inside and those. And then we can hit the green tick and go to our 3D view, hit the green tick again, and click out here. And we can see there that it's split that wall up. So all I want to do is select holding down control and clicking to select each of these and this one here also and we can again exclude parts or we can right click hide and view elements like that so it's showing our stud wall type and our last layer is our interior lining the plasterboard drywall or gypsum plasterboard so we can select that and divide parts click edit sketch and this one we might just do it in this view so i'm just going to draw a little arc something like that in there the green tick, finish, and if we select that, and we can right click, hide in view elements. Uh, we've missed the layer as well, so this one here appears to be our uh, membrane, our blue builder's paper. So we're going to divide parts there again, select it, edit sketch, and I might just orient this way, just so we can see it in comparison to the other layers, and use our arc again, and we'll do something like this and finish that. Finish the sketch then select this right click hide in view elements. So there we go if we click this here to get a look on a on an axo angle that's looking pretty good a couple little things you want to sort of tweak here is just align this cut here for the block work so we want to actually align that we use our line tool and get rid of some of these little lines so if we just select that there and then that and then if we tab to select this line and then any one of these lines brings that up I want to align this up here so if we tab to select that line and then pick this it will bring those into alignment and we may just need to go through and do that a few times around here so again if we click that and then that line same up here if we click that and then that line So this one up here is a little tricky to get that into alignment. Well, all we need to do is tab to select the line and then we can actually rotate and click rotate 90 degrees like that. And then now we can align firstly that to that and then align this face with that line there. So there we go. That's sort of a bit more realistic. Now we can see all those blocks. And the last thing we want to do is just change this layer to blue. You can see it's currently a gray. And we've got a couple options. We could change the material in the wall type, or we could select it. And if I just expand this, you can see we've got this option here, material by origin. We can untick this and then change the material in here. 
but I might actually just keep it to this material, but only modify the uh, the appearance. So I just tick on use render appearance there, click OK, and I might even just tick that back on so it's linked. And one last thing we might do is just change the projection mode in the view properties from orthographic to perspective, and hit apply, and just have a bit of an orbit around to get that looking kind of cool like that. I hope that was helpful. If so, and you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Uh, of course, like and share the video and any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and have a great day.